Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. Today we will be shopping for Eid, all of the presents for all of the family members. And first I'm in Home Bargains looking for toys for all the little kiddos. I also went to Asda, H&M, Next and TK Maxx. So I'm going to show you what I bought. And firstly I came home and laid everything out. I got some crocs for myself and also my sister, some tops for the kids, um, I bought each member of the family um, an item of clothing, I still have to buy my mum and my younger sister something. So this is what I got for my dad from TK Maxx, I actually ended up buying him two things because I just love the look of them, my dad really likes bright colours, hence the mint green. For my brothers and my brother-in-law, I bought these North Face tops from JD Sport. I believe they were only £32 and yeah, I don't think they have this, that's why I got that. For my little niece, I bought her this strawberry dress, I just thought it was so cute. And for my daughter, I got her this dress from Next, which is also super cute and soft and I think she'll absolutely love it. I also, as you saw, I went into Home Bargains. I want to make Eid cards with my daughter and also I'm going to be hosting a crafts table at an Eid fair. So I also bought some extra cards for, you know, the crafts table. I ended up buying this stamp set, but it didn't come with any ink. So I probably won't end up using that. I bought some creative paper and some joggers for my son because he seems to be running low on those these are from asda i ended up buying this um i believe it's like a catch ball thing i remember playing with it when i was a child um, my daughter's told me that she really wanted a play-doh machine so this is what she got for her eid and i bought my nephew and my son the same toy just so they don't fight over it on eid and those were only a few pounds um and then I bought lots of bits for the arts and crafts table. I ended up buying this balloon arch and also these cones, but I believe I'm going to return this balloon arch. It was about £10. And judging from the, the wrapping paper I ended up buying, um, I want to go for more of a silver and white theme, so I'm going to return that. And I ended up finding the balloon pump as well, so I'm going to return that as well. Those earrings are for my sister-in-law. They were from TK Maxx. Uh, so the wrapping paper I ended up buying from Tesco, which is after I bought everything. Um, I found these pom-poms in the works. They were only a pound. So that's going to be part of my crafts table. Um, my daughter loved using them, so um, I'm going to put them out for the crafts table as well. Um, these felt stickers are great, and there's quite a few of them in a pack. For the Eid cards, I'm going to use this gold or silver um, one for the star that I want to put on the Eid cards. I found this set, I don't know if I'm going to use it for the crafts table or give it to my daughter um, but yeah that's going to be useful, it was only a pound or two. Got some little sprinkles, or not, they're not sprinkles, they're like, what are they? Yeah anyways, um, I ended up buying these organza bags because I'm going to later on in the video I'm going to make some sweet treats for my daughter's class and then I think I'm also going to make them for the Eid's fair and also give some out to the children in my class that I teach in. I also bought this pack of dinosaurs for my son just for him to play with it at home and just some extra bits for the home there.
finally everything is wrapped and this is what it looks like and we've got three boxes at the back which is presents from my dad that he's got for some of the kids that I also ended up wrapping after I went to go pick up my daughter and we bought some sweets ready to make some sweet treats for her classmates in each bag we put some stickers a couple of jelly sweets and also a little chocolate um, heroes because they're the fav my favorite ones and this is what the end product looked like I thought the little organza bags were so cute and also very cheap from the works and then my, whilst we were doing that my mum was also making some nonobora with my sister and she added some black seeds and these taste so good and my daughter absolutely loves them and they're so soft and yeah I can't wait for Eid day now because finally nonbora is made and luckily for us iftar was given to us by our next door neighbor auntie she's from Dhaka and she makes some delicious food and the spread was amazing i actually ended up eating a little bit later than everyone else because my son who loves sitting next to my dad ended up spilling a little bit of water all over his clothes so i had to get him changed and that meant that iftar started about a couple of minutes later for me but that's fine children always come first so yeah i was really really enjoying this food after that i cleared up everything and i'm just going to show you some of the things my dad bought from the bangladeshi grocery store so he bought some bangladeshi lembo these are so good and also some fun this really nice cabbage I'd, i've never seen a cabbage that looks as wide as this one and yeah it just looks really pretty right um some bengali treats and also the spinach in the back so i hope you enjoyed this very short vlog don't forget to like and subscribe for more vlogs i'll see you in the next video bye blossoms